hello and welcome back to another class with me, Hannah, on Rumbo al Inglés. Thank you for watching today. Uh, but first, uh, we're going to introduce our student, Ruben, and then we'll continue our class. So let's say hello to Ruben. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm very fine, and you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Uh, you didn't cut your hair. Right, <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> That's right, I didn't. Because in my last program, that's right, I talked about uh, cutting my hair, yes. right? If you want to cut it, <laughs> I brought uh, scissors. Okay, you brought some scissors. Well, <laughs> let's see, let's put these away. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to cut my hair during class, no. no? Oh. <laughs> but if I do decide to cut my hair, I think I'll go to a beauty salon, maybe. Oh. Right? Okay. Um, but yes, we talked about long and short, the adjectives, right? And I said, hmm, my hair is very long, muy largo. So maybe I'll cut my hair, but um, not today. Not today in class with these scissors. No. I, wa I was practicing. Really? Yeah. You practiced? Yep, as I practiced. Okay, you practiced. Yes. So if you if you want, mm -hmm. I can help you. Oh, okay. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> <laughs> your offer. <laughs> uh, well, uh, Ruben is not only an English student; he's also uh, training to be, I think, a hairstylist. He wants mm -hmm. to cut hair. Maybe in the next class. Okay. Maybe. Okay. okay. I'll think about it, Ruben. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so in the meanwhile, let's look at our topic for today. Now we're going to look at numbers. Ooh, oh, numbers. 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 We're going to look at numbers from 1 to 10. Okay, so okay. 1 to 10. And we're also going to review our last class, which was uh, creating questions, right? Formulating questions with the verb to be and using uh, simple adjectives like big, small, long, and short. Okay, so okay. let's start with the first part. Are you ready, Ruben? I'm ready. Okay, are you ready at home to begin your class? Are you ready? Okay, I hope you're ready. Um, today for class, we're going to need pen and paper because a little bit later, un poco más tarde, we're going to do dictation. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I think um, you probably haven't done dictation in a long time, right? Hace muchos años. So today will be very interesting for you. So don't move. All right. Let's begin. Let's start with numbers 1 to 10. Ready? Ready. All right. So let me count them first. Here we go. Very slowly. And listen to the pronunciation. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. All right. Was that clear? Yes, clear. Good. All right. Now, your turn, Ruben. So let me hear you say 1 to 10 very clearly with correct pronunciation. Begin. Okay. Uh, 1, 2, 3. Repeat. 3. Hmm, are you saying árbol or tres? <laughs> tres. <laughs> tres. You want to say tres, not árbol. Okay, so listen. Three. Three. Yes, three. Three. Bien. So, we don't want to hear tree, but three. All right, so repeat. Three. Three. Good, continue. Four. Four. Five. Repeat. Five. 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 Yes, five. Five. Okay, so it's very important to hear the V because it's F -E -E. Five. Five. Good. Continue. Six. Seven. Eight. I'm sorry. Repeat that. Wait. That's okay. Repeat. Eight. Eight. Or eight. 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 Bien. Eight. All right. So listen to the difference. Eight and eight. So we want eight. So remember the GH in English, when we have GH, the GH muda. Totally silent. It's like no okay. existieron. Okay? So eight. Eight. Bien, continue. Nine. Nine. And ten. Perfect. Ten. Bien. Mm. All right, now count from ten to one. Backwards. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one. Perfect. Go. Good. Good. That was a good countdown. 
cuenta atrás, mm -hmm. right? So imagine like at New Year's Eve, right? We say 10, 9, mm. 8, etc. For the New Year is el año nuevo. Okay, mm. bien. Now, um, I'm, I'm going to give you the word in Spanish. You give it to me in English. Ready? Ready. Siete. Seven. Dos. Two. Tres. Three. Uno. One. Cinco. Five. Cuatro. Four. Nueve. Nine. Ocho. Eight. Diez. Ten. Dos. Two. Tres. Three. Siete. Seven. Uno. One. Cinco. Five. Seis. Six. Perfect. Hey. Bien. Muy bien, <laughs> mi Rubén. <laughs> mi Rubén. He's such a good student. Bien. All right. So, and did you also notice seis? How do we say seis? Six. Six. Repeat. Six. Six. Bien. Muy bien. Okay. So, remember when we say six, the ending, la X, sounds like, suena como una K, S, S, right? So, six. Right? Mm -hmm. So, let's hear you say six at home. Repeat. Six. Six. Bien. Remember, eight. Numero ocho. Eight. Repeat it. Eight. Five. Cinco. Five. Three. Tres. Let me hear you say three. Okay, muy bien. Very good. All right, so, are you ready for the dictation? Uh, yes, I'm ready for the dictation. Very good. I see you have a pencil I have there. A big pencil. Yes, a very big pencil. Mm. Wow. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, <clears throat> and paper. So here we go. I'm going to dictate some numbers. And at you at home, also, I want you to dictate the, uh, or take down the dictation at home. So take out pen and paper and write the numbers that I dictate. Ready? Okay, mm -hmm. here we go. One. Two, eight, nine, three, five. Okay, bien. Okay. okay, let's check. Okay, one, two, eight, nine, three, five. Bien, very mm. good. Okay, so next <clears throat> seven, six, four, seven, two, eight. All right, so let's okay. check. Check your answer, seven, Ruben. Six, four, seven, two, eight. Okay, very good. Mm. Excellent. All right, so are you getting the correct answers? How many are correct? How many are incorrect? Okay, let's see. Next group. Okay, eight, four, seven, three, six, seven. Okay. Okay, so check your answer here, Ruben. Eight, four, Seven, three, six, seven. Okay, very good. Oh, Excellent. thank you. All right, next group. Let's see. One, nine, two, eight, three, seven. Okay. Let's check your answers. One, nine, two, eight, three, seven. Okay, very good. Mm. All right, excellent. Okay, a couple more. Six, five, two, five, one, eight. Okay. Okay, check your answer. Six, five, two, five, one, eight. Very good. Excellent. Mm. Okay, great. Okay, let's do two more. Six, eight, one, three, six, five. Six, eight, one, three, six, five. Very good. Wow. Okay, you're doing a good job. All right, last one here. Seven, nine, two, four, eight, nine. Seven, nine, two, four, eight, nine. Okay, great. Good yeah. job. All right, so did you get all of them correct? Yes. <gasps> wow. So 100%. 100%. 100%. job. Okay. And what about you at home? What was your score? Did you get all of them correct? How many did you correct? get correct? All of them? Some of them? Most of them? Okay. All right. Now, we're going to do another dictation. But this time, we're going to look at numbers, okay, uh, when we give numbers in a telephone number. All right, so with a telephone number, it's very common 
to say each number, cada número, right, separately, right? Now, what about the number zero, cero? Okay, sí. so sí. we say zero. Repeat, zero. 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 Bien, so let's hear you at home. Zero, con z, 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 zero, zero. Okay, good. Now, when we uh, say the number is zero in phone numbers, in numeros de teléfono, Usually, we say it O, right? We say it as if it were la letra O, okay? So we say O. O. So for example, a phone number, if I say um, 909-224-110. Okay, so again, we don't say zero. Normally, we don't say zero unless it's the actual number, numero, mm -hmm. si, como cero. Um, but uh, for phone numbers, we say O. All right, so oh. here we go. Let's start with a dictation, okay, like a phone number. So ready? Get ready with your pen and paper. New Ruben, here we go. 0274 378 234. 0274 378 234. Perfect. Bien. Okay, good. So check your numbers at home and see if they're correct. All right, good. Next group. 0263-283-489. Okay. okay. Check your numbers at home. 0263-283-489. Repeat. Four. Four. Eight, nine. Yes, eight, nine. Eight, Bien. nine. Okay, good. And check your numbers at home, see if they're correct. Okay. Okay, good job. All right, let's continue. Next. Okay, O two three seven three one nine eight four four. Okay, check your numbers. O two three seven three one nine eight four four. Perfect. Okay, bien. Okay, let's do one more. <clears throat> o two four three three seven four nine one two. O two four three three seven four nine one two. Okay, very mm. good. Bien. All right, last one. Here we go. Last one. O four two three. Two nine one one oh three. O four two three two nine one one oh three. Perfect. Yeah. Wow. All right, good. So check your answers at home. Make sure they're correct. Okay, bien. Okay, good. Good job. So thank you very much. <laughs> I think you got all of them correct. Yes. All of them. I'm very oh. good in numbers. Yes. <laughs> You're very good with numbers. And scissors, huh? You yeah, like scissors. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. cutting, 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 cutting the hair. hair. Cutting, cutting hair. Cutting hair. Okay, bien. All right, good. So how did you do? ¿Qué tal? Right? ¿Qué tal? How did you do with the numbers? Did you do well? If you didn't do well, you can go back and watch the program again uh, and repeat the dictation or the audio uh, with the materials. Right? Mm -hmm. So you can repeat them again and again and again. It's good to constantly practice and repeat numbers until they become automatic. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, so let's see repeat. Again, one. 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 Good. Con N. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. Good. Okay. Ten to one. Backwards. Count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. And how do we say? Zero. Zero. But if we say zero in a telephone number? No. O. o. Exactly. O. We say O. Okay, bien. All right, good. So let's see. Let's review what we did in our last class. So we had questions, remember questions, with simple adjectives like big, small, long, and short, right? So we had questions. Now remember, when we create questions or formulate questions with the verb to be, we have to put the verb, 
plus the subject, right? So is Paris in France? Is Madrid in Spain? We never say is, uh, excuse me, we never say Madrid is in Spain, Paris is in Spain, right? No. Never, 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 never. That's very bad. Okay. So uh, if I say is this a big pen or a small pen? It's a big, uh, small pen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's, it's a, a pen. small pen. It's a small pen. Yes, it's a small pen. Okay. Is this a big pencil or a small pencil? It's a big pencil. Good. It's a big pencil. Is this a big pencil or a small pencil? It's a small pencil. Okay, good. Is New York a big city or a small city? It's a big city. Is Barcelona a big city or a small city? It's a big city. Is Avila a big city or a small city? It's a short city. Uh, I'm sorry, repeat? It's a, it's a uh, small city. Yes, small. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Ruben in our last class, he sometimes he confused yeah. small with short. Yes. Mm, okay, so remember, small is pequeño, short is? E corto. Exactly, corto. Okay, and also don't forget, that when we have an adjective, we never change the adjective for singular or plural or masculine or feminine, mm -hmm. like in Spanish. In Spanish, we have actually pequeño, pequeña, pequeños, pequeñas. But in English, we only have one, yeah. small. Okay? Okay. All right, so let's see. Is Berlin a big city or a small city? It's a big city. Good. Is London a big city or a small city? It's a big city. Is Los Angeles a big city or a small city? It's a big city. Is Chicago, a big city or a small city? It's a big city. Is the Mississippi a long river or a short river? It's a long river. Good. Is the Manzanares a long river or a short river? It's a short river. Good. Is the Rhine a long river or a short river? It's a long river. Is the Thames a long river or a short river? It's a long river. Good. Is the Amazon a long river or a short river? It's a long river. Okay, good. So remember, when we use river, we're using the. Okay, so the Manzanares, the Ebro, the Thames, the Nile. So don't forget to put the. All right, so ask me questions using big or small. Let's start only with big and small. Okay, uh, is Madrid a big city? Or a, so, or, a, or a small city. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> or a okay. small city. Repeat again, repeat, is, repeat. Is Madrid a big city or a small city? It's a big city. So remember, small is not short. Okay, short is cortito, como el pelo corto o pelo largo. And then small, pequeño. So repeat again. Okay, is Madrid a big city or a small city? It's a big city. Is Pontevedra a big city or a small city. It's a small city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, is Barcelona a big city or a small city? It's a big city. Is uh, Berlin a big city or a small city? It's a big city. Is Rome a big city or a small city? Mm, it's a big city. Mm. Is uh, Guadalajara a big city or a small city? It's a small city. Is Valencia a big city or a small city? It's a big city. Okay, mm -hmm. Ruben, ah, Ruben almost, casi, 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 he almost said city. No. City. Ah, city. 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 Bien, sabemos. Remember with the C, la letra C, it's never theta in English. So we want to say city, con S, right? How do we say centro? Center. Good, center. And ciudad? City. City, bien. Okay, now, give me questions using long or short. Okay. Right? Using rios, rivers. Is uh, the Mississippi a long river or a short river? It's a long river. Is uh, the Nile a big, uh, no, a long river or a short river? <laughs> it's a long river. Okay. Is uh, the Guadiana a long river or mm -hmm. a short river? It's a short river. Hmm. <laughs> Is uh, the Amazon a long river or a short river? It's a long river. Is uh, the Júcar a long river or a short river? It's a short river. Is uh, the Sil a long river or a short river? It's a short river. Is uh, the Thames 
a long river or a short river? It's a long river. Okay, very good. Excellent job. Thank okay, you. so <laughs> so again, let's not confuse, no confundamos, let's not confuse the adjectives again. Big, small, grande, pequeño. And then long and short, largo y corto. Right? So again, this is a big pencil. This is a small pencil. This is a small pen. I have long hair. Ruben has short hair. Okay? Uh, the Mississippi is a long river. Okay? The Jucar is a short river. Uh, Madrid is a big city. Um, Avila is a small city. All right? So big, small, long, and short. All right, so again, is New York a big city or a small city? It's a big city. Is Los Angeles a big city or a small city? It's a big city. Is, mm, Nor excuse me, is Norway a big city or a, a big country or a small country? It's a big country. Okay, good. Is the United States a big country or a small country? It's a big country. Yes, very big. Is Canada a big country or a small country? It's a big country too. Good, too. Is Switzerland a big country or a small country? It's a small country. Mm -hmm. Is Belgium a big country or a small country? It's a small country. Good. Is France a big country or a small country? It's a big country. Good. Is Paris a big city or a small city? It's a big city. Good. Is the Manzanares a long river or a short river? It's a short river. Okay. Um, is the Nile a long river or a short river? It's a long river. Is the Mississippi a long river or a short river? It's a long river. Good. Is this pencil big or small? It's big. Good. Is this pencil small or big? It's small. Good. Is this pen big or small? It's small. Good. Is my hair long or short? It's long. Is your hair long or short? It's short. Good. Okay, bien. So, we can also use the adjective sin sustantivo, right? Mm. I just said, is this pencil big or small? Is New York big or small? Is the Manzanares long or short? Is the Nile long or short? Is the Nile long or short? It's long. Is the Mississippi long or short? It's long. Good. Is the Thames long or short? It's long. Is the Guadalquivir long or short? It's long. Is the Ebro long or short? It's long. Good. Is the Statue of Liberty big or small? It's big. Okay, bien. <laughs> so, the Statue of Liberty is very big. Mm. Is the Empire State Building big or small? It's big. Yes. Is Madrid big or small? It's big. Is Belgium big or small? It's small. Is Los Angeles big or small? It's big. Very good. Okay, bien. Muy bien, Ruben. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Good job today. So, Again, we looked at numbers. So numbers from 1 to 10. So, siete. Seven. Dos. Two. Tres. Three. Uno. One. Diez. Ten. Ocho. Eight. Cinco. Five. Seis. Six. Siete. Seven. Tres. Three. Dos. Two. Zero. Zero. Repeat. Zero. 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 Z zero. Zero. Okay, bien. Or when we use cero en oh. números de oh. teléfono. Oh. oh, exactamente. Oh, bien. Okay, so count to ten. One to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bien. Okay, very good. And we also looked at questions, right? The interrogative questions. Is Paris in France? Is Madrid in Spain? So, uh, good job today, Ruben. Our time is up. Oh, <laughs> it's very quick. Yes, it went very quickly, very, very quickly. quickly. Yes, our class goes by very quickly. Well, there's an expression, time flies when you're having fun. So, <laughs> good job today. Thank you for being with us, and thank you for being with us as well. Remember, practice your numbers and practice your questions. And repeat after me, as always, repeat after me. Uh, I may be a beginner, but not for long. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.